Hello guys, welcome to my this video. My name is Anurag and today in this tutorial I will show you how to create a slider from scratch. Most probably you used a plugin for slider, but in this video I will explain everything and every minor thing then in next time you can do it from yourself. So in my previous video I had shown how to create a responsive header. So if you haven't watched my previous video, so I'll suggest you to watch my previous video and the link you will get in the description. But if you want to directly watch this slider video, you can do that no issue. So before starting this video, I want to give you the brief idea of what I'm going to show you in this video. So this is the banner slider you can see and in this slider I have added one previous and also a next button here and I have added one content and here some list item you can see and below this slider here I have added one section by this section user can join to their site even user can ask question so this section just for making this design better by the way our main focus is how to create this slider from scratch so now here i have added four items means four images of in this slider so now here if i click this next button so you can see it is sliding even the content is sliding from left to right so all the things i have done from scratch so i'll show you even you can do that so now here if i come to the last one and after that if i click the next button so it won't move because this is the last one now same way if i click the previous button here you can see slider is moving even the content is sliding from left to right means i have added to one animation so now here below i have added the list items how many slider we have so based on that i have added the list item we have the four images slider so here you can see i have added four list items so here from first to last if you want to reach so you can click that one so here you can see you are coming to the last slider even this last one it has added one red color active button okay means active class so based on that user can understand this one is uh, now selected so same way if you want to come the second one so you can click here so active class will be added in the second one and the slider is second one okay so all the things i will show you how you can do that so guys here i want to request you please like this video if you find helpful and also you can write in the comment section if you want video in any topic that also you can write in the comment section so in next video i will make a video on your topic which you suggest and also if you want to join my insta id so insta id you will get in the description so there you can join even you can ask your any question in my insta id so hope you will be enjoyed this video so now i will move to the visual studio code editor and i will show you how you can do that even here i am using visual studio code editor if you want to use any other editor you can do that no issue so guys here i have opened my project in my visual studio code editor so the project name is school management and i have added one folder css folder inside the css folder i have one file which is style.css which i have opened here you can see and i have one main file which is index.html this one and inside this js folder i have one javascript file which is script.js which i have opened because this three file is the main file which i need for this video okay and here you can see some default code i have added here but this code i have written in my previous video just for creating the responsive header so don't be confused here like why i have written all this code by default okay so those code i have written for creating responsive header so here i will just give you the brief idea in header section this is for creating a responsive site and here this one just i have added font google font i'm using and this one i have added one font awesome icon link and this is the custom css link i mean external css link okay so this style file i have linked here and this is our title okay so in details if you want to know so you can watch my previous video and here this is the header tag where i had created 
my responsive data it is ending here so in visual studio code editor here you can see a arrow sign so if i click so it will minimize the entire header part okay so from below of this header part i will start to write my banner slider code okay and this is the script file inside the body tag just before closing of the body tag i have linked my external script file here so same way in script file also you can see some default code so those code is for only header purpose so what i will do before starting this video here just i will comment this is for header and just from below here i will write my banner code okay so now here this is the style so same way i already have added some style okay so here few style are for common purpose for this entire website and few style i have added for header purpose only okay so this body container those are for common purpose okay so here uh, what i will do just here i will add a comment here you can understand which is for common purpose okay so means common purpose means those style i will use uh, in this website okay for common purpose okay so i will write here common and i will just add one comment okay so now up to that here you can see you can pause if you are directly watching this banner slider video so you can pause this video and you can write all those common classes okay so see display flex justify content because those class i will use common purpose so i have created like this okay so up to that here it's a common so here i write here just common okay so this is the common css okay and now from here it is starting header so just i'll write here header okay and header is ending c here okay and these are the media query media query also for common purpose like for header banner whatever section i will create so for those purpose i will use those media query okay so here i will write this is for media query and if you don't know what is media query so in my previous video i have explained and now my banner will start here whatever code i will write for banner okay i mean this slider so that i will write here inside this now i hope it is clear no confusion if you have any confusion you can write in the comment section i will give you immediate reply even i will try to give you immediate reply so now here first of all in index.html file here i will write also a comment which is for banner okay then you can understand this is for banner and this is for header so guys here before writing the code i want to show you the preview like how the header is looking like because in my previous video i had created the header so here so you can see this is the header which i have created in my previous video so now i will start to write code for banner so now here just bottom of this header i will write a section and class class name i will add banner by the way i want to tell you one thing whatever class name in this video i will write even any time so class name you can write as per your choice but always try to write the relevant name this is the banner so i have written class name is banner and now here i will write div class slider container means the another class name okay and inside this slider container i want to add four items of slide means four images so here i will add div class image and this image i will copy and paste three times because already one time i have added so now i have copied so two three four so four times i have copied okay so now inside this i will add my image so here image and then source dot slash images folder then you can see i already have stored some images now or inside this alter tag i will add slider one so now i want to show you my project structure so i have one images folder also and inside this images folder i have added 
four banner images if you want those images so you can write in the comment section or you can connect to in my insta id so i'll provide those images but if you want so just after uploading this video uh, within a uh, one week if you ask then i can provide maybe after that i will delete those images so i cannot provide so for learning purpose you can download any images from uh, google and you can use that one okay so now here that is done okay so same way just i'll copy this image and i will add here but here just image name i will change because i have bg1 bg2 like this way up to bg4 okay and this one also i will change to slider 2 alter that so now here bg3 and this one i will add slider 3 and after that this and bg4 and this one is 4 so now save and now i will check it how it is looking see four images it is coming but it is coming you can see one by one but i need this will become side by side right so now here for that purpose i will add some css okay but before that here i want to add one class here okay inside this email so class name i will add content because when i was showing the demo so that time uh, i have some like i had one content so those content uh, i will add here so now h4 tag so inside this h4 tag i will write the content and here i will add two buttons so if you notice in the demo so i had two buttons sign up and learn more so here i will create so button type is button and i will add one class name so class name i will add sign up and the text also i will add sign up okay so same way just i'll create another button so copy paste and this button name is learn mode so class also i'll add the relevant name which is learn mode and here instead of sign up i'll add learn mode okay now let's see how it is looking so see here content is not displaying because i haven't added any content so content i will add the dummy content if you want so you can write the content whatever i will add otherwise you can search in google and you can take any content and you can add no issue okay so sign up and learn one two button is showing for this first slider but the second slider it is not showing because see here uh, i haven't added this content for the second slider so what i will do just i will copy this one and inside this image folder i mean here so just i will paste you also do the same and content i will add later so you can see this is the done and here you can see buttons are showing for each slider okay now i will add the content dummy content so now guys here you can see i have added some dummy content if you want so you can pause the video and you can put the con same content in your code so for second items you can see i have added this content okay and for third one you can see i have added this one and for the fourth one i have added this content okay so you can pause the video and you can put the same content so now here if i save and if i go to the preview so here you can see uh, with button it's added one content as well for each slider okay so now here the main part is css so if you are working for any slider so that time you have to understand like html structure and css both are very important because based on html structure we write our javascript code even css also okay so now here our first class is banner so here just i will copy this banner class and here i told already i will write the css here so i will paste this banner class so now here first of all width width is 100 percent okay with 100 percent means our banner will be up to my screen width right so that's why with 100 percent and now after that height height i will add 100 vh okay and after that here i will write overflow hidden so why overflow hidden that i will explain and also position are relative so why those two css i will explain height also you know right so here i will explain those two so overflow hidden means so now for now our slider was coming uh, in uh, one by one right but when i have written overflow hidden see only one slider is displaying 
not the other three right but if i remove uh, overflow hidden so that time you will find each slider item will display see here scroll is coming and each slider item displaying but uh, at first i need only uh, the first item right and other three item will come in side okay so for that purpose overflow hidden so now overflow hidden i will comment out okay and position relative position relative also for now it is not required but i in next i will show you why it is required so for that purpose two css i will comment out okay so now here after that uh, just my next is uh, slider container okay so now in slider container what i will do so here see uh, each image is coming just one by one but i need side by side right then only when i will click the next and previous button so it will slide from right to left and left to right okay so for that purpose here just i will write one class name which is display flex so display flex means here in css i had added some common class right i had shown display flex this class d flex and the css property name is display flex okay so you can just put this uh, class name and the css property and then you can add here like this way. display flex so now here save okay this one i'll just come to the banner part so this is the banner part so now here after adding this display flex see here uh, now images are not coming one by one okay it is coming side by side but here i have added one scroll you can see i mean not i have added by default it is coming one scroll when i have written display flex see scroll coming but here uh, so when i had written overflow hidden so that time uh, just it was showing whatever displaying just within a screen but outside screen if anything it was coming it was making height right so i need that thing right otherwise if it comes scroll and it display so our slider will not work properly so for that purpose i need this overflow hidden so now i will just comment out and see our scroll is gone right and here it is displaying only one image single image so for that purpose overflow hidden so now position relative that also required but for now it is not required so for now if i just comment out so then i cannot explain why it is required okay so then uh, you cannot understand and you will be confused okay so for this time i will just comment out and later i will show you where it is required okay so now some custom css i will write for this slider container class okay so i will take the parent class first of all so the parent class is banner so just i will copy and paste here and after that this slider container so i hope you know the basic css and the basic html why we use the parent class why you we use this one okay so now here uh, some css i will write which is height first of all height is 100 percent and width is also 100 percent and here transition i will add transition is transform so same way transition also i'm adding but i will just comment out and later when it is required so that time i will show you the use of transition so i have added this css property but i will just comment it out okay so now this is done and now after that here uh, the next css i will write for this image so the parent is step by step banner slider container then image okay so up to that just i will copy and after that the C, uh, class name is image okay done now here for image i will write min width min width is 100 percent means uh, how many width for this image but the minimum width will be 100 percent means our screen size okay means suppose uh, this image size is bigger than my screen size but suppose this image size would be 
half of my screen size okay so that I mean with what it will do so if it this image would be half of my screen size so that time minimum with 100% means this image will stretch up to my screen size but if this image is already bigger than my screen size so that time here it will not be uh, decreased okay because minimum width means minimum width will be 100% means if it is half so minimum width will be up to my screen size means 100% okay so now here uh, then height I will add 100% okay and after that position relative so here also I am writing position relative so that also I will explain later where uh, why I am adding position relative here so now three CSS properties I have to explain later okay so I will explain it later so don't be confused so now here the next is for our image tag okay so just up to that I will copy and here you can see this is the tag name right so for tag name no need to write any dot okay directly you can write image so now here I will write width is 100% and after that height is 100% percent and uh, object fit okay so object fit is fill so why object fit is fill with height i guess you understand right with 100 percent height 100 percent the object fit object means uh, first of all object means our image okay and fit fill means it will fill to our screen size okay so now up to that it's done okay so just i will show you the preview how it is looking like so here you can see our slider is looking like this okay initially it is showing the first item and the other three items it is hidden because it was overflowing from our screen so i had written overflow hidden so it is now hidden when i will click the next button so then uh, the first one will hide in the left and the second one will display so this way it will work okay so now here the one thing i had one content right if i go to the html file so here uh, you can see i have one content so this content also not displaying because i have written overflow hidden so wh what i have to do now so this content in my demo i i was showing this content is this it was coming top of this image so when I have to bring the content top of this image so how I can do that so top of this image means uh, that image will be bottom and the content will be top so for that purpose uh, for making this design the bottom part we need to write position relative now I hope you understood why I had written position relative and why I am going to explain it now okay so the bo bottom means this image class and this content will come top of this image right so that's why this image here this one i have to write position relative okay so just i will now remove the comment okay from this css property and now the content so content for content i will just copy because this content class also inside this image folder and the another thing when you want to bring something in top of any other element like here i want to bring this content in top of this image so that time here very important thing like this content class you have to write inside this image means this image will be parent and whatever i mean not image i mean the the bottom one will be parent okay and the child one will be inside this parent see here our image tag is closing here so the content i have written inside this parent right not uh, outside see here image closing here and our content inside this uh, image right then you can bring top of this parent so now image and uh, inside this image uh, this content so i will copy this content now and paste so now the uh, the child one or you can see the top one okay bottom one position relative but the top one you have to write position is absolute absolute means then it will float 
okay so position absolute okay and after that few properties i have to write for bringing our slide just middle okay so here what i will do so top is 50% so now our parent is this one okay so when i will write top 50% means from our parent means it will count from here so from top and from bottom it will come the middle okay so from left and right i have to bring it middle so here i will write left also 50 percent okay and for making it more strong now also it is you can see it is coming but not the exact middle right so for making it uh, here i have another property which is transform translate minus 50 percent and also here minus 50 percent now you will find this coming entire middle from top to bottom and from left to right okay so now this button and this text starting from left talent so for that purpose here i will write text align center see now the button is center and now guys here to notice one thing how long my content is so it will occupy the entire slider okay means entire width of my screen but here i will add some fix to it means our content will not go outside that width okay so for that purpose here i will add width 500 pixel okay so up to that it is done so now here what i will do just here i will add one class okay this class i haven't used in html so this class i will use when i will write in javascript code so that time so why i am adding this class that also i'll explain okay so the class name is active content so now here i will add one animation okay animation is slide in from left okay and after that one second space one second and is in out so is in out means uh, here uh, okay i will explain it later also then it will more uh, is even uh, i had explained in my previous video okay so if you want so you can watch my previous video so now here this class name so i have declared one animation so i have to uh, add some definition of this animation so like this way okay at the rate keyframes and this one like this. okay so in zero percent so maybe here you are getting confused why i'm writing but don't worry i will explain everything so transform here uh, translate translate is minus hundred percent and then this one is minus fifty percent okay and opacity is zero okay and now i'll just copy this one and i'll paste here so in this case i'll write 100 percent okay and here it will be minus 50 percent and opacity one okay so now here see i had shown you one content animation right when i was clicking the next and previous button so content was coming from left to right actually for that purpose i am writing this one but here this class i will use in javascript because javascript why because when i was clicking so that time this animation was happening right so that's why clicking means that is the javascript part so this class i will use in javascript means how i will use when i will click the button so that time this class i will add okay so later i will explain okay so don't be confused in this part actually i am writing the css code sequence wise so first i am writing okay and when i need so that time i will explain so now the next point is this h4 tag okay so that is comes under content so what i'll do just i'll copy from here to here and just below this i will write an h4 tag okay so now here i will add color is white color 
and font size font size i will add 39 pixel and margin 0 okay now let's see how it will look see the font size is increased and it is looking good okay so now here this is done so now the next css i will write for these two buttons okay so few css will be common for two buttons and few css will be different from each other okay so now first of all i will write the common one so for common one i will use this tag because this tag you can see here and here both places so if i write for this tag so it will whatever css i will write so that will be applicable for both button okay so now here just i will copy up to this content paste and inside this content there is one button tag okay so i'll just copy and paste this is tag name so i'm not writing any dot or anything so the first of all border because button comes with default border and default outline which i no need okay so here i write what border none and outline also none okay and the background color i will add transparent okay means no background color because i will add default it is coming some grayish color right you have noticed i guess but here i will add my own color code so that's why first of all i will make it transparent now cursor is pointer cursor pointer means when i will hover our mouse pointer on top of this button so it will it will look like a hand icon so user can understand this is clickable right so now here uh, i will add border radius border radius means this button's corner will be rounded so you can add the pixel value so whatever pixel you will add so based on that it will make it round and now padding padding is top and bottom 10 pixel and left and right 30 pixel and after that here margin so margin i will add 30 pixel from top and bottom and 5 pixel from left and right and the transition transition here i will add 0.4 is and here is in out so in this case also transition i will comment out okay later i will show you uh, why i am i need this transition okay so now save and let's see how it is looking like so see one uh, two buttons this is like this okay so what i'll do now uh, this is the common css i have added so now whatever the different css for each button so that i will do that so here i will just copy this class uh, up to that okay and now i copied up to that button so inside this button i have two classes for each button okay sign up and learn mode first i will write css for sign up so here dot and sign up now if you are thinking like why here i'm not adding any space between button and sign up so you can notice here this sign up class inside this same button element right button tag inside this sign up class so that time no need to add space but when you are writing parent and child like suppose slider container and then image so this is parent this is child so that time need space but here inside the same element so no need any space so now sign up button so here i will add color is white and here background color i will add so background color code here i will add which is da 394d okay da 394d so if you want any other color code so you can add and now border one pixel solid and this color code okay now save and you can see this sign up button is created so same way i will add some css for learn mode button so now here just i'll copy up to button because now the class name is different which is learn mode so here i'll copy again okay and now the class name is learn mode so now here okay so for learn mode here i will write the border okay border will be same and color color here i light color and the color code will be this one now let's see see it is coming like this it is looking fine right so now here when i will 
come top of this button my mouse pointer so that time you can see symbol is changing to hand okay it means cursor pointer so here i have added cursor pointer so for that purpose and border radius see here the, this button corner is rounded right? so that's why border radius now when i will come uh, top of this button my mouse pointer so that time i want to change this button background color means user can understand something is happened and it is clickable uh, means more understandable i will make it okay so that purpose here i will just copy this one okay and when i will come top of this button that is called hover so like this way uh, you have to write so when i will hover on this button so that time i will change our background color okay so first of all i'm working for sign up button so background color is transparent okay so now let's see so if i hover see background color is now transparent right so now here i will add some more css which is color color i will add this color code okay and here i will add border so border i will add this border so now let's see so if i hover see border is changing and color is also changing and in this case i will do the opposite okay so now i will add for learn more so learn i will copy and here i will paste and over okay so in this case here i will write the border border i will add this one and background background color i will add this one and the color color i will add white color code let's see so if i hover it is looking this and if i hover it is looking like this means what i did so first of all when i i will hover on the sign up button so sign up button will look like this learn more button see it is looking like learn more button okay and when i will hover on this learn more button so learn more button will look like sign up button see it is looking like sign up button okay so that i did but here one thing if you notice see when i hover so the the changes is happening but it is not smoothly right so that's why here i had written one transition effect for each button because when i will hover on every single button so that time i need some smooth animation now it is animating but it's not smoothing right so that's why transition okay so transition for 0.4 second means uh, this color and whatever i'm changing on hover so that will change but it will it will change some uh, i mean it will some delay right so then it will look smooth if it is change uh, immediately so it is not looking it is uh, looking smooth it is looking like flickering so here when i will add this delay uh, time so then it will look smooth and is in out is in out means when i will in my mouse means when i will hover on my, on my mouse so that time in and when i will hover out so that is out okay so in and out time uh, both time it will at smoothness okay so that is ease in out now let's see see it is smoothly animating right you can see when i hover so that time even when i hover out so the it is coming to its initial position that time also smoothly so in and out this is in this is out okay like this one is in out so here up to that it is done okay now here i have to just add this two buttons okay left and right button and the list items and for the css for those two okay so now i'll come and in index.html file so i have this banner okay and this slider container so if i click this arrow the so slider container is closing here so just here i will write our button and list items so now here i will add button type is button and the class name i will add left because here this button is for previous button so which position will be left side so that's why i have written left so in the demo time i have shown you right so now here another button is uh, that is right okay because that button will be placed in the right means this position and another button is this position okay so here 
just I will change it the class name is right by the way this class two class name you can write any other name as well but for relevant name I have written left and right so now inside this button I want to display some icons left and right icons okay so now here I will go to font awesome okay and what is font awesome so in my uh, starting time here I had shown you one link font awesome link so if you want to know how I added this font awesome link so you have to go my previous video there I had shown how I added this link okay so here I'm using font awesome version 6 you can see so here just I have typed font awesome icon 6 and after that this first link by the way this link I will provide in the description so don't worry about this but if you want to know how to add this font awesome link so you can watch my previous video now start for free and after that here you will get explore icon so just here I will type angle and then search so now you will find different different icons of angle so you have to find out which one you need so first of all left so I will click this one and it will provide me a code in new window so now here inside this I will just add and the same way for the right so I will just open this one and I will add this one okay so now here if I save and if I come to this preview so you can see button is not displaying because of the overflow hidden so in the banner if you have remember so in this banner I had written overflow hidden now if I go to the CSS and top of this uh, if I reach here banner so here I have added overflow hidden overflow hidden means because when this uh, slider images was coming side by side it was uh, coming out scroll right in bottom so for removing the scroll I had written for overflow hidden right so for overflow hidden means whatever you will add inside this banner means because here I have written overflow hidden in this class right so inside this class whatever you will write so that will be hidden okay if it uh, goes outside then it will be hidden right so now if I just comment this one and if I come so see here button is displaying right here you can see button is displaying so here I have to write overflow hidden just for showing purpose I remove that one so now here I have to add some design for button so I will come to the top again and now here this banner I will copy this banner class okay this is the parent one and after that this left class for this button okay and same way I will just add uh, for right okay so right like this and few class I mean few properties which I will add for same which is left and right so for that purpose what I will do here so just I will copy this left and here I will comma and paste it but instead of left now I will write right okay so here for uh, common purpose I have added comma and class name okay so now what I will do just the first one I will write here position absolute okay position absolute why because see now this button will come top of this banner right so top of this banner means the banner is the bottom one and this icons is the top one right so when it is top so that time we need to write absolute and when it is bottom so that time we need to write position relative which I explained already right so in this case if I go to top again in the banner section so I had written position relative but I commented that one right why because now I have to comment out because this um, banner is now the bottom and this icon will come top of this banner here if you notice this is the banner this is the parent one and these two buttons are the child one so this uh, is uh, top of this banner I, I I have to bring those two button or you can say it icons so that's why this bottom one is the relative and the top ones will be the absolute okay so now I have to comment out this one hope it is clear and you are understanding if you uh, are getting any confusion so you can write in the comment section okay so when we write absolute or relative so that time we need to set the position okay so here we need to add top and left some position so here top because because here that button will be uh, in middle from top and bottom okay so that's why top is the 50 percent for each button okay so here see top is 50 percent for each but here if you notice uh, for left and right okay it is coming this side only so for that purpose here what I will do for left one will be in left side only so here I will add one 
property which is left 40 pixel so left will be 40 pixel but this right button that will come here in the right side so that's why here I will add right is 0 so it will come uh, right side okay so here I will I have to add 40 pixel so let's see see here it is coming now okay so right 40 pixels so now uh, I hope it is clear so now what I will do so I will add some more CSS which is common for these uh, two buttons okay so left and right those property will be different because left will be left position right will be right position those will be different so I have added differently but here uh, some common CSS for each button that I will add here so now the color color is white okay and here I will add one size of this icon which is 60 pixel I will add and uh, here I will add cursor pointer cursor pointer I already explained right so that is cursor pointer and after that here uh, I will add transform transform here I will add translate translate minus 50 percent and here I will add minus 50 percent so let's see how it is looking like so it is looking like this okay so what I'll do so this button uh, background and those I have to remove so background I'll add transparent and border none and outline none because uh, button uh, comes with border and underline okay so I'll remove so now it is looking like this but here if you see this uh, left side button is coming like this but right is coming from here because I have added transform translate so what I will do so here I won't change okay so just here I will zero actually uh, initially I was writing zero so I will add zero so it will look in same position see here it is now looking same position so button is created now I have to create the list in the bottom so what I will do just I will come to the HTML file and here I will add one div so div and here I will add one class name which is list by the way this class name you can write anything and now you will and a like so how many list uh, items I will create so how many slider I have so slider I have four items right here three one two you can see three four images slider so four times I will add this list so here I will add one class name so list item okay so now I'll just copy this one and we paste this one like so here you can see it is still not displaying because of the overflow hidden okay so I'll just same way I have to bring this one just top of this images as per our design okay so now here our parent is banner class right so banner and then here uh, you can uh, see here first is banner class so I'll just again minimize the so banner class inside this banner I have list then you will tailor so first of all I have to write some CSS for this list tag so here just I'll copy and here I'll paste okay and after that here I will add position absolute position absolute and here left 50 percent and uh, bottom bottom I will add so here uh, from top and bottom side it won't come middle right it will come here so I will add bot from bottom I will add uh, 40 pixel okay color white okay this is a white color code and after that I will come to the HTML file and I will write the CSS for this li tag okay so now here I will just copy because inside this list I have li so first you will then li so now here I will write uh, margin 0 and 10 pixel and after that font size is 25 pixel and then cursor pointer okay so now let's see in the preview so if I come so see here it is not displaying you know why because inside this li tag I haven't added any content so here I have to add one round circle right so round circle for round circle no need to add any icon so li tag by default provide a css property which you can add for round circle so here you have to add list style type here circle so this one will provide some circle see 
here it is circle right so now here uh, this circle is coming from uh, one by one right but i need side by side for so for that purpose i have one uh, class right display flex so in ul i will write this the flex this class name so now let's see so here see it is coming like this okay so now here another class i will add here which is dot active list so this class i will use for javascript purpose means when i will uh, i will click this slide i mean list item so which one will be, uh, will click so that one will add this red color so for that purpose that, that class i will add okay and initially it to uh, this active class will add in uh, the first one because initially first slider is display okay so first of all active list then color so color i will add this color code okay and now i'll copy this color and i'll come to the html file and first list item if i add so what it will see here first list item color is now looking like active so when i'll click any list item on next button so this color will be uh, in the next one okay so like this one so this color code i will not add in html because i will add it from javascript so i will remove it from here so now this is done so slider is done so now our uh, the next one is bottom section which i had shown in the in demo time so for that purpose just bottom of this banner here i will add one section section class name i will add constant by the way this class name you can write anything again i'm saying okay and after that deep class constant main this class name i will add and here deep class con sun item okay so here three items i will add okay and each item will contain one icon and one text okay so here for icons i will just come here in font or some first of all i will add one i mean i will search one email icon at first so email and here this one i will add okay so here i will add one p tag so content i will add later so first of all three items i will add so i will copy paste and paste so icon i will change okay so the second icon i will add which is headphone see this one so i will just copy and i will replace this one and the last icon i will add which name is user this one okay so i'll copy that one and i will paste here and now i will add some content here okay so content again if, if you want whatever content i will write so you can pause the video and you can take it otherwise you can write some dummy content you can search in google and you can write any content okay so now here you can see i have added one extra anchor tag as well because uh, for that time i did not add so i added one anchor tag and paragraph so added some content so you can add the same actually or else the content you can take it from google okay so now i'll save and i will show you how it is looking so i'll come so here you can see it is looking like this okay so again it is uh, coming one by one so i need side by side so for that purpose here i will add d flex that class okay so now let's see how it will see now it is coming here like this okay and uh, now i will just write the css so i will just copy and first of all just below this banner i will write okay because that is another section so here one thing i can do so this section name i can write concern okay opening and closing so just inside this i will write our class so here first of all i will add one background color so background color i will add this color code which i already used and padding padding 40 pixel from top and bottom 60 pixel from left and right and then position relative and after that top why i am writing position relative that i will show you because this uh, section this constant section also will be top of this banner okay so that's why position relative and i will make it little bit top see it is coming from top when i have written position relative so now if i inspect and if i show you 
so this is constant section now if i remove position see it is com coming down right so when i have written position relative and top minus 20 so it is coming from top of this banner and it will look better that's why okay nothing else so now our uh, second is concern mean so the parent class is this one concern so i will just paste here and i will copy this concern mean class and paste so now here i will write the css is justify content center i will explain so why i am writing and align item is center see here before it was starting from left but while i have written justify content center so it is uh, coming like from left and right uh, middle okay and from top and bottom it is coming middle so align item center that's why top and bottom and uh, justify content center means from left and right side it will come middle okay so the i hope it is clear now the next is a uh, concern item okay so what i'll do just i'll copy this uh, parent class okay and now here i will copy this class and paste okay and now here i will write margin is 0 and here uh, 40 pixel and uh, here i will write one thing see here this uh, this uh, one it, it is coming left element means each uh, content i mean this gate code and this content it is coming left even here also it is coming from left so that's why what i will do so here for each uh, content item here i will add also d flex okay so d flex so now let's see how it will look so see it is coming like this so what i will do so see here it is coming this icon this anchor tag this uh, paragraph all are coming in same line but i need it will come uh, one by one in this case okay so that's why i mean it uh, this flex is coming row wise means same line means row wise but I, but i need one by one means column wise in this case so here another property we have that is flex direction is column so now you will find it is coming like this okay and here also i will write justify content center for bringing middle and align items center for bringing middle see now it is looking better so now i will uh, add the css for this anchor I, uh, icon anchor tag and this paragraph so now here i will just copy this one and here i will paste so first one icon then i will copy paste again second one i will add for anchor and the last one is for paragraph okay so first of all for icon i will just add one color so color i will add white color and the font size i will add 40 pixel now let's see how it is looking see icon is now looking much big and then anchor tag so for anchor tag here i will add display block and then margin top 40 pixel and then font size 30 pixel and color so color here i will add the uh, triple f one double nine okay so now let's see this color code is added and after that here i will add some cs i will add css for this paragraph okay so this margin top i uh, i think 30 pixel is enough yeah it is looking much better and now this paragraph okay so paragraph only i will add this color white color see like this okay so now it is looking better design wise now our functionality part i will start okay so that is the main thing first of all when i will click this button this slider must change i mean from first to second second to third even when i'll click the previous button then slider will change from uh, last to the la uh, before last like this way okay so here for that purpose i will go to javascript part so this is the javascript part so those are for header now from here i will start to write our code so now first of all what i'll do so this function this one not required for now because here no functionality needed so i'll just minimize that one and here i need this button 
okay this two button and when i will click this list item so that time i have to do something right so for the button click here i will write on click and this is left button so i will write here left slide okay like this and for the right one i will write here on click and right slide like this okay this is the function so when i'm i'll click so that times so it will happen so that's why it is on click okay and same way for list item here i will write on click i will write list item okay like this and for this case what i'll do just i will pass this list item number so this is uh, i'll pass here zero okay so zero and just i will copy so here why i am passing and uh, how i can receive so everything i will explain just first i will write this one 1 2 and 3 so now function i have added okay now i have to declare this function inside this javascript file okay before that you have to link i already have link okay so now here just i will copy this one and i will come here so first of all here i will write function this left slide function definition i will write later okay and the same way here this right one okay so just here i will write function this right one and this item one okay so here i will write function this item this one and here you can see i have passed a number 0 1 2 3 okay so here when i'm passing this number inside this function so i have to receive actually for logical purpose i have passed here number so that number i have to receive so what i will do just here i will write number so now if i console console is for debugging purpose okay console dot log num so what it will happen which one i will click means here css just i will drag this side because now i need the javascript okay so here when i will click each item so if i click this li tag so it will uh, giving me number 0 it if i click this one it will giving me one like this one, okay so now i will just inspect and this r2 icons also i will leave because that is not required design is completed already so refresh and here if i click see i am getting zero because here i have passed zero this is called parameters this is called argument actually and when i am receiving uh, the number actually so that is called parameter okay so now here you can see i am getting zero one if i click the last one so three if i click this one two like this i am getting number so why this is useful when i will write the logical part so that time you can understand okay so now uh, number i am getting so i'll remove this console so now what i'll do just i will want i want to show you one one thing so here this slider container okay this slider container here is one property if i write transform transform then translate x translate x here see if i write any value like 100% so here you can see uh minus 100% so you can see here it is showing the second item okay because why because why it is showing the second item because our entire width is 100% right uh that is i explained right when i was writing in css entire width is 100% so from 100% if i write minus 100% like uh, if i just add Uh, 20% then it will more easy see here when i have written 20% so here see this first one moving left side because minus 20 so it is moving left side so same way this entire is 100% so if i write minus 100% so it will the first one will uh, move totally and the second one will display so now if i write 200% so see second one also move and if i write 300% so third one also move to left and it is showing the last one right like this way. means what i'm doing so first is 100% then 200 then 300 like this way okay so that's why when 
uh, I have passed number. So in number, what I'm getting, I'm getting zero, one, two, three, like this way, right? So hundred. What I'll do in logically, I'll write hundred percent in uh, minus zero. So it will be zero, right? So zero means it will display first one. So next, when I'll do hundred percent minus uh, one, hundred percent. Multiply one, right? So it will be minus one hundred percent. So it will move the first one. Means when I'll click this second uh, list item, so I'm getting the number is one, right? So hundred percent into one means multiply one, so it is hundred percent. When I'll click the third one, I'm getting the number is two. So hundred percent in minus multiply two, then two hundred percent. So it will move. Like this way. So let's see in practical. Then it will be more clear. So what I will do? So first of all, you notice right? I am moving this slider container because that is the parent one. So okay. So what I will do? So this slider container. This is the class name slider container. So here I will come in the script. So in globally, I will write one variable uh, which is const and variable name is slider container equals to document dot query selector okay query selector then like this one. so this is same like whatever we write document dot get element by class name okay so instead of that we can write query selector query selector means uh, suppose here only one class slider container but if it would be multiple class slider container so that time it would take only the last one so same way here i have only one class right no multiple class this class is only one time not multiple times so i can write query selector but see if i expand this one so here see content content is multiple time so in this case i cannot write query selector i have to write query selector all because i need all query selector items right all query selector items so I have to write query selector all, but in this case only this slider container only one time, so I can write query selector. Okay, so here I hope it is clear. So now here I need the another thing const I will write length. So length here I will write document dot query selector all. Okay, in this case I will write query selector all, and here I will take this image because see how uh, the length of this image is four times right so when uh, this image will end means it will be four times means i have to check conditionally like uh, it is uh, fourth i image or not which uh, sometime i have to check like it is zero or not so that's why i need actually length when i'll explain later so you can easily understand okay so image dot length okay and now after that const contain so those variable name you can write anything document dot uh, query selected all in this case also on and now here i will write i have one content because i have added animation for this one so content okay and another one is list so this list okay so the class name is list item so here i'll just write const and list item here document dot query selector all this list item done right so now here what i'll do so initially this list item i added this active class here right but i remove from here and i told i will add it from javascript right so here what i'll do just this list item and here this is actually array okay array means actually it is a container where we can uh, keep multiple elements okay so here when i have written this list item variable so this this is like a container here i can store multiple items multiple item means here when i have written query selector all list item means actually those four items right so those four items i have stored here okay so means here four items i have stored so uh, here if i if i want to extract first item uh, 
from this list item means when uh, i have written this list item so here it stored four items right four items means four list items but from this one if i want to take the first one okay so i can write like this zero if you are thinking one but it is not actually because array start from zero array means uh, here if i show you it will take time but your idea will be clear so here four list item like this way when i have written this line means this line means it is storing like this way one two like this way four list item okay it is storing in this array this is called array square bracket okay so now from this array i want to take the first item so first item means it will be one right but no actually it will be zero this is the default syntax of javascript okay means predefined thing you can say so if i write zero then i can take this one if i write one then i can take the second one okay so like this so why i'm taking the zero because initially this first one i have to add active because initially first slider item is displaying right so i have to add this active class here then user can understand this first item is selected so here i will write class list dot add and the class name is i will go to css and active content uh, the class name was okay so act, sorry active list so i will copy this one and i will paste so what it will happen initially it will happen it will add active class so here it is showing error list item has already been declared okay so okay uh, oh, i did one mistake so i have written function name and this one same so i will change it to list items okay list items so now okay here i have to add dot because i added class name right so i have to add dot few mistake i did because here i am do i'm just thinking the logic okay that's why so now save and if i go so now error is removed and see initially it's added this red color okay so this is done so now same way initially i have to add this animation for this content okay so what i'll do so this content here just i'll add content same way zero uh, this one i explained right so you, you can understand this one so same way i will add class list dot add okay but in this case i will add different class to which i have added for animation so i will go to content part there i have added animation right so see animation is this one okay so here i will just add this class instead of this one so now see when i will reload the page See, it is coming left to right why it is coming left to right because in css i have added animation okay and in this animation from zero position zero position what it will happen so it will come it will go minus 100 percent and to minus 50 percent initially see it is minus 50 minus 50 but what i'm doing zero percent i'm uh, just added I have added minus 100% so it will come little left side more and when it will be 100% so then it will be 50% 50% means it is initial position okay and opacity 0 so and here opacity 1 because in 0% uh, position I no need to show because it will look like coming from left so that's why opacity 0 and here opacity 1 it is when it is 100% so this is actually frame wise animation means you can set the position so here you can write any of the position like zero person one person whatever you want but for in this case uh, zero and hundred percent is enough okay so now you can see it is animating okay so now here i will add some other logic okay so here i will add one variable which is count count equals to zero initially it will be zero okay so i told already right hundred percent uh, multiply 1 100% multiply 2 so what I'll do so when I'll click this left side or uh, I mean this left button or right button so that time I will increase this count and I will multiply so if I increase means when I'll it will be count 1 so 100% uh, multiply 1 when it will be count 2 so 100% multiply 2 like this so it, it will increase so okay but before that uh, if i just increase like this way first of all i will do for uh, this one okay right button so count plus plus if i write like this okay and if i console console dot log and if i print this count what it will happen let's see 
then you can easily understand so now if i click this count see this next button so count to one count two count three count four count five count like this so it is increasing right so, but i i have only uh, four slide items so i have to increase from one to three means initially zero then next uh, second item one third item two fourth item three like this up to three i have to increase okay so for that purpose what i can do so length then it will uh, require length okay because i have to increase this count up to length because length means uh, here what i will get i will get how many items i have okay so four items so when count will reach count will reach up to four items so that time count should not increase again okay so what i will do here i will write one condition okay so conditionally i will increase this count so here if if count count not length okay means until count uh, not moving i mean not reaching up to length so that time count will increase if it reach then count won't increase right if i return inside this if condition means count will increase uh, when uh, it will i mean it is not reaching up to length now let's see one two three four okay so see i'm in uh, clicking but it is not increasing so here four times but actually i need three times right length is four but i need three times because already zero is there so second i first item zero second item one third item two fourth item three right here if i show you can easily understand okay so i have four images okay so these images zero one two three so three times i have to increase so what i'll do so here i'll add minus one okay so then it will increase up to three so same way for left slide here also i'll just add uh, th in this left slide it will decrease right so decrease means when it will be three when i'll click right slide it will be three so that time it will be two one zero like this so here i have to write if it is not coming up to zero so that time it will decrease means count minus minus okay so now here if i just add this one so now let's see so one two three it is increased now if i see two one zero so now after that it is not decreasing right so like this way this condition is done okay so here what i'll do so now after that when count is increasing so this time this slider container i have to move okay so here i will write this slider container dot style dot transform x i had shown you right in inspect transform x and okay here i have to write transform equals to translate x translate x okay and this one i'll do this back tick sign back tick sign you will get just beside this one in in your keyboard just beside the uh, before the one there is one uh, one uh, key right so that is back tick so this back tick sign so now what is the use of this back tick sign that uh, brief idea i will give you but before that translate x it takes some uh, value right so here i will add minus then dollar why i am writing because uh, dollar it is used uh, when we write back tick sign so why i will explain or don't worry just uh, first i write count okay then multiply 100 and then percentage because in uh, inspect i had shown right when i was writing translate x 100 percent 200 percent that time uh, it was moving so count is one zero one two like this so increasing so when i will click the first time so it will be count will be one okay so one into hundred percent then count will be two two into hundred percent means two hundred percent it will move so like this way it will move okay and now the back tick sign so see translate x this is the string okay but this count count is zero one two hundred this is those are number so when we write string and number combined so that time if i write back tick sign so whatever we'll write inside dollar and curly braces that will denote as a number and outside this dollar and curly braces that will denote as a string so that is the use of back tick sign so now here save and now if i come so here if i click see it is moving right so until i'm not coming to the this last one so it was moving but here the one thing noticeable like this is not 
any uh, i mean smoothly moving so for that purpose i have to enable i mean i commented this one right in slider container i had one transition effect that i commented so now if i just remove this comment so now let's see so refresh i have to refresh okay see it is uh, moving smoothly so this is for next button now i have to add for previous button right Pre previous button also same you can guess from your side okay and then you can if you already guessed you can write in my comment section okay so here pre next, uh, previous button is very simple so just here i'll add like this uh, instead of minus i'll add plus plus means no need to write okay so here if i just come refresh see here like this okay and here okay it's happened something i have to check 200 percent okay let's see count minus okay so here okay so here i have to write minus because here i am doing minus right so that's why this cal for this calculation i have to write here minus because uh, here i have uh, when it is minus 400 okay uh, or 300 so that time it will be minus 200 right so how minus icon will get so that's why i have to write minus minus 200 minus 100 like this so here also minus is required so hope it is clear so now you can see slider is moving okay slider is moving working fine so now if i refresh so see here this is uh, this slide item this uh, for content it is only only from refresh time but not it is working for clickable time so that i will do and now this list icon first i will do for this list icon so when i'll click this list item so then i have to move this slider but this is very important understand very carefully how i'll do okay see here now uh, my slider is second item okay when i'll click this next button so my slider is second item so at this time if i click the first list item just look at my mouse pointer if i my slider is now second one but if i click this first list item so it, it will it will come like this way previous right now again if my slider is again this fourth position okay now if i click the the list from list item second means it is coming fourth to second right then it means it is pre coming previous but if my slider is first one and if i click in list item the fourth number so first to fourth means it is going next so this is very logical condition that's why i was explaining again and again so now how you can achieve this logic so here see when i'm clicking this next and previous button so count is increasing and decreasing right and when i'm clicking this list item so that time each list item i'm getting the number so number of list item means first one is zero second one is one like this way i'm getting so here suppose i am in the last position of this uh, slider okay so the count will be three right because uh, first to count when i'm clicking the first time so count is increasing one right here if i show in the javascript so count is increasing one then two then three like this way so when i am coming to the last position so count will be three and after that if i click the second uh, this one second list item so this list in this list item means here i will get number is that is one right so let's see in the console so then maybe you will more understand so console here i will write num comma num okay and again i will console count so count and here this count variable okay so now let's see in inspect so now if i click so count is one two three okay now if i click this second list item see num is one because in list item okay uh, it is one and count is three that means num is less than count okay so here i will write two condition if num is less than count and another condition i will write which is num is greater than count okay so again i will show you so num is less than count means here i am in the fourth position okay fourth slide and i'm clicking second one means num is less than count is more than that time i have to come previous 
slight okay so what i'll do so this count so count is now three okay but i have to come the second item so this count i will write the uh, this num value right num value is what here you can see num value is one means i have to come this slider position one because i have clicked this list item one right so what i will do count item from three to one i have to come so that's why this count item value i will change it to num value means one like this way okay and after that just i will write this one okay so now let's see like this okay so it is coming previous so here i guess this condition also no need to write see here if i click so it is coming like this it is coming like this if i click okay so here uh, it is not moving okay i think this condition also not required so let's see it is coming yeah this condition also not required without this condition also you can write because i'm putting the num value inside this count okay so uh, means again i will explain because maybe you get confused i was trying to find the logic maybe you get confused so here when i'm clicking this one so i'll remove this one again and refresh so from starting if i click so num count is last position means three right now if i click uh, the first uh, second list item second list item means one if i show here second list item means one if i click this one so count should be one then only it will calculate right here one into hundred percent so it will be hundred percent so just that's why here i'm adding count the position of clickable list item right so that's why it is coming so now you can see okay so it is working so now the point is when i'll click this list item i have to add the active class which one i'll click and same way when uh, i'll come to the this slider so that time each content should animate right so for that purpose here i will create two functions just before this i will create two function so function here i will like contain active okay and this one so first i will active content and then the another function that is function uh, list active okay so now what i will do just here content active so first of uh, first of all i will do for list active okay so list means when i will click this one so that time uh, this first active one need to remove right so here what i'll do so i'm working for list items okay so list items so uh, here i will write one loop because it will check means uh, which one already active so from there i have to remove and which one i'll click so there i have to add the class so for each and here i'll add one parameter okay for each loop it takes some parameter so if you don't know what is for each loop you can just go to my javascript playlist there i have declared all the things so javascript playlist you, you will find like javascript basic to advanced playlist so there you will find the for each loop okay so leads item dot for each so from this value value means each list item i will get so i already had shown right like how list item is storing so in the array like list item then array then here it was showing each list like this right so when i'll click so that time from each list item i don't know where active class is added right so already added so from uh, everywhere i have to check it is added or not so from there i have to remove okay initially so here a uh, value means each list item i will get so here from here i will write dot class list uh, adding time i was writing add so here i will write remove so remove uh, here this this active class i have to remove okay and this list active here just i have to call everywhere here and here because when i will click this next and previous button so that time also i have to add uh, add this item right i mean add this class and here also i will call so now let's see what it will happen first so here first active class is added here now if i click this one see active class is removed from first one so same way if i click so active class is removed from first one right so here 
it is removing removing is fine but i have to add i have to add the clickable item clickable item means count is increasing right count to 0 0 to 1 2 3 4 it is increasing so what i will do just here i will pass one variable uh, one parameter which is count num okay and here when i'm passing so that time i will pass this count value okay this count value means here i'm passing the value and here i'm receiving this count num so each function i will pass okay so here i will pass this count so means whatever the count value so in this case num that is the count value so i am passing here okay and here i will re i will receive so now if i write 0 0 means first one right so now what i will do just i will copy this one and here i will paste so in instead of 0 here count num is increasing right 0 1 2 3 like this way so i will just replace count num means whatever count so that one it will add this active class now let's see if i click next button see the count is one so here instead of zero now one one and added active class if i click again count is two so here first removing from everywhere and then two count num two and it is adding active class so like this way it is working okay so same way when i'm clicking this one so first removing from everywhere so here see num value what i'm getting so that i store inside this count so now i have passed the count so here it is adding right so same way for the content same exact thing i can do for this content okay so what i will do so i can write in the same function but i will write in the different one that will be good actually so here i will pass this count number by the way this one you can write anything okay but i am passing the same name okay and in this case here i loop this list item but in this case i have to loop this content okay and here active list but in this case active content so what i'll do just i will copy this one okay now instead of list item here this is content okay so i'll just paste content okay uh, apart from this everything will be same just one thing i have to change that is active list but in this case our class name is active content so here just i will write active content okay and now i have to call this function how i have called here right here i have called so that's that that's why i have to call here so like this but i have to pass this count value right so now i will copy this one and i will paste and here also paste now let's see you will find the animation see it is animating right so same way previous it is animating okay and this active class also changing so this way you can make your first slider if you are the beginner or if you are the advanced level so then also you can do that okay because this slider is very advanced level so if you find this video is helpful so please like this video also subscribe my channel here i am just targeting thousand likes because this is very important thing so here i am expecting thousand likes also whatever you understood where you didn't understand that also you can write in the comment section every comment i read actually and if i find i have to reply so i always reply if it is not uh, like i no need to reply if i find like so then i don't reply like or else uh, whatever you want in the next topic you can write in the comment section i will try to uh, show you that your suggestion okay like whatever the topic you will suggest me so that video i will make in the next one okay so please like this video and also subscribe my channel